We're here with Harry Himmelberg at the 2015 Draft Combine. Harry, how'd you go? Yeah, um, not too bad. Um, obviously, would have liked to do a bit better in um, some of the tests, but overall, it's been a pretty good weekend. Um, and yeah, I've, I've had a bit of fun. So, can you tell us a bit about the mental strain as well as the physical tests? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, just with the with the club interviews um, and stuff like that, it really keeps you on your feet uh, mentally as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty full on weekend. So. Now you had a great second half of the season, capped off by a best on ground performance uh, on the MCG again, uh, playing against the Allies. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it was, I was obviously really excited to play on the G. Um, it was only my second time um, being at the G. So, um, yeah, it was really good to sort of get that last game in and, and play good and uh, have a win. So, yeah. Can you tell us about the sort of footballer you are, anyone you look up to? Um, I probably oh, suppose uh, players like Jeremy Cameron uh, and, and even Cam McCarthy at, at the Giants. Um, sort of, yeah, play a bit like them, sort of that lead up, um, mark taking forward, so yeah, definitely. You've played a bit of Neeful this year for the UWS Giants and a few people have noted that you do resemble Cam McCarthy a little bit running around up forward. Uh, what do you say about that? Uh, yeah, so probably just a bit of a coincidence, I suppose. Um, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of novelty, I suppose, with the long hair, but um, yeah, there's definitely a few similarities there. What have you taken away from playing uh, in the NEFL this year and playing alongside guys like McCarthy? Um, it's really good just with um, just with those little aspects of your footy, so your structures and stuff like that. Um, just having blokes like uh, Cam and, and Johnny Patton also played with, um, it's really good just to have them around. Um, they give you tips all the time and, and pointers and let you know how to, um, how to go about it. So, yeah, it's good. Now, you are a member of our PM Capital Giants Academy. Can you tell us about how you got involved with the program? Um, just, yeah, playing um, playing sort of that under-14s level. Um, and, yeah, just got invited to go down and try out. Um, so I was pretty excited for that um, back in the day. And, yeah, um, ever since then I've been in the, in the academy, so it's been really good. So you said you got involved as a 14-year-old. Can you tell us about that, that feeling when you first got invited down? You were training alongside other talented footballers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was really awesome, actually. Um, just the opportunity to be able to, um, to train with the, the best, best of the best around your region. Um, it really improved my skills um, from a young age. And, um, yeah, it's, it, it was really good. So. Why do you think it's so important, you mentioned, to train alongside you know, other elite players? How did that help you, you think? Um, just yeah, just the skill level and uh, the intensity that it brings. Um, there's also that competitiveness that you get from a young age, um, just with the boys that you know from from around that are also uh, pretty handy football players. So um, yeah, it's really just um, to improve improve yourself um, against the best. So and of course the academy caters for all types of people, not just footballers. Did you have any skills outside of football? Any other sports? Um, yeah, so I was uh, I played basketball a lot when I was younger. Um, I played everything really, soccer, uh, rugby league. Um, so from a, from a young age, I tried to play as much as I could. Um, just yeah, every every sport. So now, if you could speak to yourself again at 14 and you had any advice, what would you say? Um, probably say grow a little bit quicker. Yeah, I was a bit, a bit short when I was 14, so um, probably maybe uh, eat, eat a few bigger dinners and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, a nervous wait now for the next month, but an exciting time as well. Yeah, definitely. There's um, there's a good mix of, of nerves and um, hopefulness. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for the next next couple months. So, how would you like to see the full forward line of Patton, McCarthy, Himmelberg next year? Yeah, obviously um, to be to be mentioned with those names sounds exciting. Um, but yeah, that'd be awesome.